bunch of changes happened at my job at Microsoft, so I'm working on a lot of different stuff now. And I started thinking, I've been a cloud engineer for over 10 years, so I want to share with you the four most important things that I've learned. Advice number one, it's not a competition. I originally went to university for music performance, so I didn't end up going to school for IT until I was in my 20s, but I've always had an interest in computers, and I always wanted to work for Microsoft, but it took me almost 15 years to get here. And I started off with a lot of self-doubt. I got my first help desk job and worked my way up from there, but everybody around me had been doing this for a lot longer, and learning new skills seemed to take me forever. Until one day, a mentor of mine sat me down and told me one of the most important things I've ever learned. It's, it's not a competition. No one else was going to have my career except me, so I should really think about what I wanted and not worry about the guy next to me. And that really took a lot of pressure off. It helped me to learn on the things that I wanted at my own pace. Advice two is do whatever it is that you're passionate about. I've always had a passion for technology and well, okay, in the early days, I guess it was more a passion for gaming, but kind of the same thing. But it was always really cool to me to figure out something new and take apart something and put it back together, learn scripting, networking, or whatever. And I loved it so much that I turned my career into my hobby. And that's how the Azure Academy actually got started. And for almost the last 20 plus years, every workday has actually been a lot of fun. And of course, number three, there are some obstacles that you need to overcome. You don't know what you're doing, do you? I can't believe you didn't know that. And you aren't qualified to do much else? It's obvious you don't have what it takes to be on top. Now, if all of that made you feel bad, you might be suffering from imposter syndrome. That's the fear that people will find out you really don't know what you're doing. You don't have what it takes to be on top. Now, the reason people say things like that is when they feel bad about challenges or failures in their own life. So to make themselves feel better, sometimes they try to bring you down too. So you need to remind yourself of all the things you've learned and overcome to get where you're at. And it helps to also seek out support. This could be friends or teammates, people online who share your passion. Don't give up trying. And in case you didn't realize it yet, failure is all part of the learning process. But if you want to succeed, bouncing back has to be a part of it too. And advice number four, you have to dive into the deep end. Another big obstacle people face is the fear of change or the unknown. You've been doing your job for long enough that you're probably pretty comfortable. And for some of you, thinking about learning those new skills or changing roles to be a cloud engineer or something else can be very intimidating. So you need to figure out how you learn best. Is it visual or auditory, kinesthetic when you're doing something, or is it reading? And then find the materials that are going to help you to learn that way. And that's why I make videos and write books like this one, available in the video description. And don't forget that everything around you, from the light bulbs to the phone in your pocket, all exist because someone saw a need and then created it. And those engineers went on and changed the world. And I was fortunate enough to be a part of Azure Virtual Desktop, which somehow released only four years ago, and that's reshaped how millions of companies around the world get work done. So be brave, embrace the change, and you could impact the world too. And if you're still watching this video, then you're off to a great start. So let's keep moving with your technical skills that you'll need as a cloud engineer with this roadmap. And happy learning.